G'day YouTube, uh, this is going to be my homemade cement mixer using a, what's well, a 208 litre drum. Uh, these are the parts that I'll be using. Uh, so I've got some pneumatic wheels. Uh, I'm going to use a, that's a trailer stub axle uh, with a hub from an old trailer um, that's going to support the drum at the back some caster wheels for the drum underneath going to use 50 by 50 uh, for a metal frame that's going to be the main stand and then I'm going to use 25 25 uh, square tube for the uh, frame to support the the drum so i'll get into it and i'll keep you updated so i've used a jigsaw to cut out the lid uh it's it on the ground there it's just a crappy old jigsaw uh seemed to do the job uh, i just neatened the edges up with an angle grinder a bit better just to bring it uh, closer into the actual side of the barrel I believe over time cement and that will fill in this little gap here anyway so um, you want to leave this top ring on uh, for that extra support all right I'm gonna start making the frame up so this is the start of the frame as you can see the caster wheel there the barrel will sit on top of that uh, probably hang out down around here somewhere welding it with the Azito gas gasless MIG welder I'm using it as gasless at the moment um, I've done a lot of projects with this so it's definitely going to hold up pretty well uh, as in strength with the welds um, it's just tacked together at the moment I've gone 58 the width is 58 wide uh, what centimeters um, so from the middle of that to the middle of the 225 mil square tube is 3150 which will uh, fall in the ribs of here and down here so the wheels are on now I paid five dollars each for these caster wheels uh, they're 50 kilo uh, is the weight they can take that's how it's gonna basically roll on it uh, I've just tacked them in for now so I'll weld them up properly so I've got four of them all up So I end up cutting a hole center, fingers crossed it's in the center, um, 54 mil to suit the inner diameter of the hub. Uh, that's the stub axle, axle hanging out, I've got to make a brace now, that fits all that up, weld it to this, if you come around the front, that's what it looks like on the inside. Uh, I really hope that's center. Uh, still got to put a nut and washer in the um, dust cap over the top of that. Uh, the good thing about it, hopefully I can interchange it. We'll see. And I'm sort of debating whether to put the lug, uh, the wheel studs and the nuts on to help support it. Alright, so I'll get back to it and start making a frame up. So I welded the hub onto the drum, which proved very difficult because it actually warps as you're welding it. So just a few taps from the inside and gets it nice and straight. Yeah. It was a little bit off center, but I managed to straighten that out very happy with the way it's out uh, coming out right now so 
um, just tack welded on to the uh, stub axle there. Uh, small welding down there. But yeah, it's just tack welded on, so um, I'll neaten all that up in just a sec. So the frame for the barrel is done. So a lot of re reinforcement in there. It shouldn't move. A couple little ones at the back there. It's all welded up now. I've welded the casters on. So I'm just going to get some uh, galv paint and I'll touch it all up. I'll chip all the spatter off. And then touch it all up. I'm still going to do in around here. Do some thick welding through there. And same at the back here. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much done. So I welded in the cross piece there for a bit of a brace. <laughs> that one was a little bit off, but I'll, I only eyeballed it. A uh, bit of a nightmare when welding light tin. Uh, blew a couple of holes in it. Bit of a thicker weld there. Uh, only only because it's light tin, so yeah, it's a bit makes it a bit harder. Um, put the chain on for the drive. Uh, it's only a 420 size chain. I didn't realise that when I was uh, when a mate gave it to me. Um, so I've had to order a new sprocket. Now yeah, I've started making the legs. Uh, I've uh, chose to weld it on the outside instead of the neater sort of way of welding it on top through here. So by doing it that way I can get a bit more thicker weld. Uh, using the flat sections. So I ended up scrapping this barrel with the hub in it. Um, after welding all this on it, it actually warped the whole back plate. So just to keep it in mind when you're building a, a cement mixer, that by welding it all up, you'll warp the thin tin, which causes the barrel to be way too um, wobbly really so I ended up making a new one that's the new design on the back there bit of a cross piece it's more centered um, I'm welding the thicker part of the barrel here um, underneath here I'm going to put a bit of right angle up, weld it all up and then put some bolts in it. I reckon that's probably going to be the best bet. Uh, made the stand. Get out of that sun. So that's the stand. Right, so I've added in onto the stand these stops. So the frame of the, the cradle for the bar barrel rests on these stops here, welded to the stand, one each side, and that stops it from tilting too far back. What I've also done is made a little locking device that way it stops it from rotating on me for no reason I've also added in some chains uh, welded to the stand and then welded up to the cradle and that stops it from 
over rotating forwards. Quick, simple design. Uh, hopefully the chains are thick enough and hold up. Uh, for the motor mount, I uh, basically got three mil uh, plate and I welded that. Bolted the motor to it, elongated the holes out so I can get some adjustment. Made a little adjustment bolt up in here that there will basically allow me to adjust it to get good belt tension. As for the pulley system, I got rid of the chain. The chain was making way too much noise. Um, the quietest thing I could think of was a belt. Um, I've got uh, the belt, I made up a little pulley for the front of this pulley, which brings it down to a 14 mil shaft. Onto the drum, which is 580, brings the RPM to 30 on the dollar so by doing that um, I'm using a 1330 rpm motor uh, one horsepower so uh, my revolutions on the drum is 30 rpm uh, just still got to put some wheels on it put some more supports on the frame So it's all done, painted. Um, I've used a galve primer. Um, saying that I'm not too fussed on the paint job because it's only going to get covered in cement anyway. So it's all done. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, if you like them, please subscribe. There's many more to come. Um, and have a nice day.